If the devil lives anywhere, it could be in San Francisco. From our point of view, it really makes no difference whether you pray to a father god or to a mother goddess or to an entire gaggle of gods and goddesses. You're still wishing the same thing. You're still wishing to be included. You're still wishing for their acceptance. You're waiting for them to put their arm or arms around you and say, you belong, you are a part of us, you can relax, we will take care of you, we approve of you, we endorse you. The Satanist, the black magician, does not seek that kind of submergence of the self. We do not seek to have our decisions and our morality approved or validated by any higher god or being. We take responsibility unto ourselves. The Temple of Set follows the ancient Egyptian Prince of Darkness, Satan, in another guise. It's America's only legal satanic church and enjoys tax-free status. Lilith Sinclair and Temple Director Michael Aquino edit the satanic newsletter. It has a circulation of 75. Basically, Christians, as well as many other religions, and even a lot of the occult groups are around, uh, are afraid of us. We threaten them, uh, not physically, but our existence and our philosophy threatens their security because we pose questions that they don't want to face and that they don't have answers for. The Temple of Set emerged from the Church of Satan, founded in the mid-60s by Anton LaVey, a one-time lion tamer and carnival performer, and the Church of Satan's self-appointed magus. Satan, Leviathan, Lucifer, in the name of our most exalted God, Satan, Lucifer, I command thee to come forth. Shemham Parash. Shemham Parash. Hail, Satan. Hail, Satan. Friend and companion of the night, thou who rejoicest in the bang of dogs and spilt blood, look favorably on our sacrifices, open wide the gates of hell, and come forth, Shemham Farash. Shemham Farash. Hail, Satan! Well, it had occurred to me for many, many years that there was a uh, large gray area between psychiatry and religion that uh, was untapped, and no religion had ever been based on man's carnal needs or his fleshly pursuits. All religions are based on abstinence rather than indulgence, and all religions, therefore, have to be based, based on fear. Well, we don't feel that fear is necessary to base a religion on. <clears throat> the fact that religions for thousands of years have been uh, telling people what they should do and what they shouldn't do according to the basic whims of a person who might be running the show is very understandable. We're realists, we Satanists, but we also feel that a person has to be good to themselves before they can be good to other people. This is a very selfish religion. We believe in greed, we believe in selfishness, we believe in all of the lustful thoughts that motivate man because this is man's natural uh, feeling. I decided that I liked Anton LaVey. He was a pleasant man. He believed in what he was doing. And underneath his uh, somewhat Mardi Gras exterior, I sensed that there was an individual who uh, did, in fact, have a new perspective on the human equation, on what humanity is. The Temple of Set is the Church of Satan grown up. Uh, the Church of Satan started out on a very uh, self-indulgent, materialistic level. At the time, this was uh, the way it was presented, that there was nothing more than that. The nude female figure was used as a living altar, uh, was a symbol of carnality, of the ties to the flesh. And the, the sexual content was really beside the point. been an altar several times. Uh, I don't function that way at this time because the Temple of Set simply doesn't use living altars. Uh, they're not ruled out. We simply haven't had occasion to use it. 
um, it was quite an experience. It was one that uh, I felt honored by and that I enjoyed quite a bit. On this altar is uh, one of a number of daggers which we may use in our rituals. This one happened to belong to the commanding general of the most elite unit of Germany's infamous SS, which was concerned with black magic and occultism research in general. Anything that it could find that had to do with the uh, origins of the human race, destiny of humanity. The perverted view of the occult held by Heinrich Himmler was of an evil magic that could help create a new master race. Wevelsburg Castle is where he performed his ceremonies. I have been to the Wevelsburg, which still preserves Heinrich Himmler's ritual chambers to this day, and have conducted a black magical ritual in the so-called Hall of the Dead beneath the Wevelsburg. This particular dagger is inscribed to our comrade in the Leibstandarte Theodor Wisch, Brigadefuhrer, a major general in the Waffen SS. And on its blade, it bears the inscription, Mine era heist Troy, or My honor shall be known by my faithfulness. Now, if a Christian said to you, you were just really worshipping yourself, what would you say? In a sense, they would be right. Uh, it is a form of self-worship. The only thing that keeps it from being totally that is that there is this sentient being which is the prince of darkness or Set or Satan on a more primitive level. Uh, but it is a relationship of mutual respect rather than worship in the popular sense of the word. Uh, yes, we regard ourselves very highly because we feel we are superior beings in, in a sense that we're not just little robots going around punching our time clocks, getting up, going to sleep, and that's our existence. There's much more to it than that, and we feel that we are gaining the knowledge of that deeper universe. Anybody who attempts to explore Satanism needs to be strongly advised against it. Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. The very nature of Satan is such that he is a liar and that he endeavors to uh, convey something which is not true. And I think people who are, who are deceived into being caught up in that are placing themselves in a very dangerous position. And my strong advice would be cut with it immediately.